My name is Farkot Aminjonov, Assistant Professor at Zayed University, United Arab Emirates. Before joining ZU, I was a Deputy Director at the Central Asia Institute for Strategic Studies based in Almaty. And my main area of expertise covers security, energy security in the broader Eurasian region. I am very happy to introduce our new study with CAS on China's military and security engagement in Central Asia and its relevance to Europe. A few takes from the study which I think are very important to highlight. First of all, the division of labor which dominated and prevented major powers from clashing over the Central Asian region is failing. If before Russia was responsible for security and politics, China was primarily perceived as an economic power and the European nations as normative powers is no longer relevant. This study clearly shows that China has become very active in the security and military in Central Asia. From traditional hard security engagement to soft power security engagement. China is building military bases, China is setting security guards on the border, China is very active when it comes to military training exercises and arms sales. Just for the comparison, 10 years ago, the Chinese share in the overall arms sales with Central Asian countries did not exceed 1-2%. Now, 20% of the arms coming to Central Asia are Chinese. And of course, experts in Central Asia believe that once the economic and investment of the Chinese business expand, security concerns and attempt and desire to protect their investments, citizens and assets Follow. This is exactly what's happening in Central Asia. How does it make Central Asian countries feel? Central Asian government as well as the general public are not quite happy about this. If you look at some of the surveys conducted in Central Asia, in 2020 only 7-9% of the respondents in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan shared strong support for the Chinese engagement with the region. 